Myrtle Josephine Corbin was born in the year 1868, with a Depigus twin. Having a second set of legs growing out between her own legs that also laid to a full functioning female reproductive system, she later went on to marry a doctor and gave birth to five children, three from one body and two from another. She is considered to be the only Dipkus twin case that has done this. Josephine Myrtle Corbin was born in Tennessee's Lincoln County. On May 12, 1868, she was William H. Corbin and Nancy Corbin's daughter. She was born with two separate pelvises lying next to each other from the waist down. The doctor who delivered Josephine felt it was important to mention the potential causes of her abnormality. The doctors first noted that her parents' ages were roughly 10 years apart. Nancy Corbin was 34 while her husband, William Corbin, was 25. The doctors also noticed that the couple looked remarkably similar to one another. They both had red hair, blue eyes, and incredibly light skin. In fact, the two were so similar that the doctors believed it was important to specifically state in their medical reports that they were not blood kin. The small girl appeared to be just an anomaly. Despite the two cousins the doctors mentioned, her parents had seven other children all of whom were totally normal. It would later be discovered that she had depigus, and that her condition was most likely the result of her body's axis separating during development. She hence had two pelvises next to each other at birth. Doctors concluded her extra legs were supposed to be her twin separate legs who only fully developed down from the waist. Her condition was classified as an uncommon type of conjoined twinning term depigus. Josephine could control her sister's leg, but they were weak and could not be used for walking. Interestingly, her twin sister's legs had only three toes on each foot. She technically had only one functional leg that could be used, because the inner ones were paired with the other, making it difficult for her to walk. Doctors couldn't explain. She was simply a miracle, analyzing her birth conditions. Doctors found no abnormalities. There was nothing peculiar about her delivery except that she was initially a breech presentation that later orientated normally. Josephine already had healthy for brothers and sisters. Proving the abnormality was not genetic. Josephine was naturally beautiful. Many specialists who performed various tests on her reported that she was in excellent health and could function just like any other average human being. Four of her other siblings were healthy babies. Because Josephine was born with four legs, and to functional reproductive organs, her birth shocked the entire world. Josephine rise to fame at 13. Josephine Corbin, known as the four-legged girl from Texas, began performing in sideshows in 1881 when she was just 13 years old. Her father saw her potential for fame and money after presenting her to interested neighbors and charging them each a dime. He created marketing materials like booklets and started running newspaper advertising, urging readers to visit her. She was described as a girl with as gentle of demeanor as the June sunshine, and as joyous as the day is long. She gained enormous popularity throughout her career. As a sideshow performer, eventually, rather than bringing the curious onlookers to her, she began traveling. By visiting small towns and cities and performing for the public, she ended up earning up to $450 a week. She often dressed the extra limbs with socks and her ones with shoes Corbin used to appear surreal. Eventually, famed showman P.T. Barnum heard about her and hired her for his show. For four years, she continued to work for Barnum and even inspired several other showmen to produce fake four-legged humans for their own shows when they couldn't get her. She refused to let her deformity change the way she saw the world. She made the most of each day. She was a sideshow performer from the USA. At 18 years old, Josephine retired from the sideshow business. She married James Clinton Bicknell, a doctor, when she was 19 years old who insisted on her retiring from the sideshow to start a new life in farms. About a year later in the spring of 1887, Josephine Corbin discovered she was pregnant. She'd gone to a doctor complaining of pain in her left side, fever, headache, and a decreased appetite, despite her unique anatomy. Doctors did not believe there was a reason she couldn't carry to term, though she became gravely ill. During the first three months of her pregnancy, 
resulting in her doctor performing an abortion together. The couple gave birth to five kids, four girls and one boy. Three of her children were allegedly born from one set of her reproductive organs and two were allegedly born from the other. After performing in the sideshow and giving birth to her children, Josephine's life was rather normal, though her case continued to pop up in medical journals around the country. She maintained a quiet existence in her Texas home with her husband and children. After suffering from a streptococcal skin infection, for which there was no cure in the 1920s, Josephine Myrtle Corbin passed away on May 6, 1928. At the age of 59, though antibiotics make the condition easily treatable today, in the 1920s there was no such treatment available. A lot of money was offered for her body by doctors and showmen after she passed away, but her parents declined. In order to prevent grave robbers from stealing their daughter's body, Josephine Myrtle's family kept an eye on her grave for days before the concrete had dried enough.